the lord gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater so it is wrong to sow as seed the bread you should eat and it is wrong to eat as bread the seed you should so <laughs> welcome to this episode it's your girl erina tl and still chilling in my village the village champion the village content creator welcomes you if you're new to this channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today i'm in my uncle's coffee garden uh-huh i told you farming is the main source of income in 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 uganda but if i should be general yes in africa it is the main source of income and one of uganda's main exports is coffee so i'm like mm. i know most of my subscribers enjoy coffee and you do not know where this coffee comes from you just enjoy a cup of coffee a cup of coffee <laughs> today i want to show you where it comes from the work put in and a few details about coffee farming in uganda so the main commercial kinds of coffee it is arabica and robusta is it robusta coffee honestly i don't know which kind my uncle is growing and then what's it and arabic, arabic. This is the Arabica coffee. So let's go show you the ripe one. We don't have a seat like this. Ah, now see yourself. You drink coffee every day and you do not know the process. So this is still raw. We don't have a seat like this. Let me take you to the ripe ones and enjoy the process with me. Come with me. In case you have any questions, put them in the description box below. Yep. If you want to farm coffee, of course, take a consultation and my uncle will teach you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just to give you a little information, coffee is Uganda's main cash crop. Okay, it's the main export. Oh yeah, and around 1.7 million farmers are engaged in coffee growing in Uganda. And I'm glad to inform you that my uncle is one of those 1.7 million coffee farmers. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, I think by this year they could have gone maybe to two, but by last year it was 1.7. So, what else do you need to know? The details, the techniques, and the what. I'll make a separate video for you, but today let's harvest as we chit chat, okay? My uncle's coffee plantation is seated on approximately 30 acres of land. Oh yes, and all these 30 acres of land are covered with coffee. Or oh, he planted coffee on the entire land. So how does he maintain this kind of big chunk of plantation? And this is the trick he uses. Actually, all this land is divided into portions and given to people who dig let me say they do their kind of farming within the coffee as long as whatever you're planting does not affect the coffee it is okay it is given to them freely they plant some plant beans maize and whatever whatever they want as long as they take good care of the coffee in the area where they are farming from and in turn what they give as payment it's not actually payment because there is nothing you can pay someone who has given you free land at present day you know how land is to farm without asking you for payment so what they do is that every thursday as a group of farmers all farmers that are farming on this land that has coffee they join together and thursday is a day for harvesting the coffee for free they harvest coffee there is a farm manager and each one has to harvest a basket of coffee and present it to the farm manager okay a basket of coffee i think i showed you the baskets we use as we harvest our coffee yeah do you remember the basket i was reinforcing oh yes those are the baskets we use as we harvest our coffee and that is how it is done so for example on these 30 acres of land there are approximately around maybe 15 farmers more than 15 farmers so when that 15 of them team up on every thursday they harvest let's say around 
approximately 15 baskets of coffee that could make around um, when it comes to sacks i really didn't give, get the right proportions but remember sometimes the coffee is ripe enough and they can harvest as much but then there is there are times when it, it is little actually a basket is the minimum one can get but when it is the right season one can even harvest two to five baskets okay so that is how farm life is regulated one of the things you should know if you're in thinking of engaging in coffee planting i'm told it's a very good requirement okay it's a bonus if your terrain is sloppy oh yeah and the soils are fertile a bit sandy but not so sandy yep and that's exactly what my uncle has here let's continue to improve on the yields my uncle is uh, creating irrigation system whereby water will freely over be available to all parts of the farm and so as you can see the systems are being installed the tank is wow. there and the cables are well connected we are set to go Everyone who works so hard has to rest. So uh, around the farm, we have this uh, resting area. It works uh, sort of as a dining, yeah, as a welcome. kitchen, as a shade for rest, as multi-purpose. Oh yeah, that is our dining. When people are done farming, they can go there, catch a jazz a conversation and you know, share experiences, share life, talk cook it together and enjoy everything yeah it's intended to be a complete house like these village houses that are made of banana fiber and all that but it will be a to completion and guys there is this spot it has beautiful pictures oh my goodness i think i should share with you some of the pictures we took around here I always tell you it's organically you know you can't walk all these 30 acres over 30 acres of land and you're not hungry so i just had to pull out cassava and eat it raw oh yes you eat it raw like i told you different people are about the farm they farm different crops within the coffee as long as they take good care of the land so this gentleman here has a portion where he has farmed his cassava and you can see his portion of land is very clean and well taken care of